Hey guys, Alifia here from Alifia Lifestyle and welcome back to my channel. In today's acrylic painting tutorial, I am going to show you how to paint waves in this ocean painting. It may look a little complicated, but I will take you step by step and show you how you can paint this beach sunset seascape. But first, a fun announcement before we begin. Our first giveaway of the month is finally here. I will be giving away art once every month. So exciting. So if you want a chance to win this original acrylic painting, join my private Facebook group. The link to that is in the description. I will randomly pick one lucky winner from my Facebook group only. The winner will be announced next Wednesday, June 17th. It is open worldwide, so anybody can enter. Okay, so now let's move on to today's painting. Okay, so start by taping your um, canvas at the horizon line, and we will first begin getting out paints for the sky. Let's start by mixing the paints gray, uh, the peach and the white, which will go at the very top. I am now mixing in the remaining colors to get uh, this purplish pink tone at the base of the horizon and do not forget to blend them in between. Now let's bring some of that same color from the sky down to the sandy part of the beach uh, just to make sure that everything reflects well. I'm also adding a smudge of yellow to bring in that sunset feel, but I will tone all of this down with white after. Alright, let's take a break from the sky. We will come back to it in a bit. Moving on to the ocean, I am using turquoise, emerald green, phthalo blue and ultramarine blue. Follow the horizon line with phthalo blue. Essentially, we want somewhat of a gradient effect with the darkest color at the top. As we move closer to the beach, we want this brownish green tone to the ocean, so mixing some raw sienna and um, you know, some of that greens and the white will give you just that. Okay, I am now going to switch brushes to a filbert brush. Super, super handy. Would totally recommend this if you don't have it. We are now working our way towards the waves, but first we will start with the shadow part of the wave. 
So I am mixing a tiny bit of phthalo blue, lots of white, a smudge of green and just a little bit of pink as well. I'm basically outlining the shape of the wave first. You kind of want to dot your way through this, don't just make a rigid line. I'm also building some of that um, foam in places to represent the shadow part of the foam. When it comes to the sea foam bits that happen near the shoreline, there's no better way for me to explain how to do this than just simply going in zigzag or like crisscross motions. Using a reference photo for this uh, section can be extremely handy as well. Now you can be as detailed as you would like uh, to be in this section. Personally, I'm not one for too many details when it comes to uh, painting in general, but you can go to town with this if you'd like. Um, it's just really personal preference and the style you choose to paint in. I'm getting some more raw sienna again and mixing it with those greens to build on some of the shadows near the shoreline and adding that color to these flattened out triangle shapes that you see. Adding some pink and yellow to the green that we already have uh, will give you a nice mid-tone color for the base highlights.
This is where I'm going to make use of my palette knife. Using the side of the knife, I am simply dabbing lightly on the canvas to give that far away uh, reflection highlight. I will come back to the knife in a bit, but uh, taking the fillboard brush again, I am defining some of that foam. Here's the trick, taking any rough brush you have, lightly scrub the foam you made. This will help uh, blur out some of that foam which uh, will appear in the background. I cleaned out my brushes and palette, it was getting a little too grubby. Alright, so going back to the waves here, I am now defining the underneath shadow part of the wave slightly before we give our painting final highlights. Doing the same thing to the shoreline and defining the shadow part of the layers underneath the form using some uh, raw sienna. Since we are nearing the end here, I will be using pure white to highlight bits and pieces. Now this step is important so make sure you do not lather on too much paint directly with your palette knife. Take some paint on the back of your knife and dab it gently to the canvas while going in circular motions. You want to make sure that you do not take away uh, all the background shadow that we made earlier. I'm adding a bit of sea green pop to the inside part of the wave to bring out the color more.
and there we have AC scape painting hope you all enjoyed and if you want to give this a try and share this make sure to join my private Facebook group where we all can see the link to that is in the description I am also giving away this original acrylic painting to one lucky winner again this will be held in my Facebook group and will happen on a monthly basis so if you are interested join the group to have a chance to win the giveaway will end next Wednesday June 17th Thank you all so much for watching and we'll catch you next week. Bye guys.